morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, trading session for Wednesday, the 22nd of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the uh, the, Google, the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, today's numbers, Asian session overwhelmingly negative, led by the uh, sharp sell-off yesterday in US markets. The U.S. market itself was mainly triggered by the lack of fiscal stimulus, uh, obviously, uh, details, which we already knew, to be honest with you. Uh, financial selling off as well, which we already knew, given the fact that uh, Yellen obviously didn't sound as hawkish as everybody expected, hence the flattening yield curve, and therefore their profits are obviously hit. Now, the, uh, the actual uh, housing or the health bill basically goes uh, into the uh, Congress on Thursday, and apparently... There's political infighting amongst the Republicans and there's not enough votes for that to pass. If that doesn't pass, and add in the fact that obviously you have Mr. Comey on Monday testifying against Trump and calling and basically undermining him and ridiculing him and humiliating him, and therefore his political clout or his political capital that he had, if he had any in the first place, is certainly all uh, basically, uh, uh, shall we say, depleted. Okay, So whether or not they'll go ahead and pass this bill, which obviously opens the way for the fiscal stimulus bill, which we've all been looking forward to. Hence the reason why stock markets have been moving higher on the anticipation of it. OK, right. So Asian markets lower. You have the uh, Shanghai and the Hang Seng uh, and the uh, Nikkei. Nikkei down 2.1 percent. Hang Seng down 1 percent and the Shanghai down 0.5 percent. In terms of economic data this morning, it's been virtually non-existent. Uh, we've had current account uh, data from the uh, European Union, which really came in weaker. Other than that, there's nothing really of any major importance. We've had uh, mortgage applications that have come in weaker as well. Uh, existing in uh, home sales and housing uh, data certainly will be a potential market mover, but how much of an effect that will have, given the uh, obviously dominant theme of uh, concerns regarding the uh, the actual uh, Republican uh, Party itself, okay, and their ability to actually go ahead and uh, pass through legislation okay so uh, market selling off there obviously financial so it certainly has a double double whammy we also had the uh, the cartoon character such as uh, mr kim jong firing more missiles overnight and that certainly exacerbated uh, geopolitical tensions okay now in terms of the german dax let's just bring up the german dax for you a uh, daily chart uh, we've obviously uh, moved lower i did explain in my analysis either we hold this uh, gap at 11 9 20 or ho ho horizontal support or we go low and close the gap, and that's exactly what happened. I've been explaining that we have this rising contracting wedge pattern, which is generally considered to be bearish, and that certainly has held us far. Okay, so for now, we have a gap lower. Okay, we've cl we've closed the gap below around the uh, 11,830, 11,840 zone. You've got a gap above our 11,950s region. Okay, so looking for potential gap fill there. Keep an eye out for that. Okay, 60-minute chart. The German DAX H&S formation has been complete, which I explained yesterday. The DAX had a HNS formation in motion, holding that Fib 61.75%. The bias was bearish, and we've certainly got our flush, okay, in terms of the market. We bounce off that gap fill. Again, you have a gap fill above at 11.960, and then there certainly is a possibility of uh, rising higher. Now, the pivot high to the pivot low at the moment, you certainly can rise up to Fib 75 to 61, uh, 50, 61, and 75% as well. Again, previous uh, obviously support equals resistance now. Just bear that in mind, folks. Okay, uh, the HNS obviously is already in motion now, it's more or less over. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so again, previous support equals resistance. So any bounce here now will be hitting those two zones. Okay, in terms of the German DAX 10 minute chart, the German DAX itself really at the moment you've held that support. Uh, it's all about gap fill above now, whether or not we can close this gap, folks. Okay. Let's keep an eye on that in terms of the market itself. Bullish news from uh, France so thus far. See if, if that can actually uh, force the markets back higher again. And obviously, US markets putting in a potential base. Okay. Now, let's move on to the French CAC. Okay. So, the French CAC, let's go to the daily chart. The French CAC certainly holding, well, so, sorry, we've broken through the uh, uh, gap fill support as well. We've broken below this bullish channel. So just bear that in mind. If we do flush or move higher, attempt to move higher, you have gap fill at 5,000. So that will be your first level of potential resistance. And then obviously, like I said, you have a gap fill below at 4,860 and previous resistance equal support of 4,930. So watch out below. 60 minute chart of the French CAC. We've certainly bounced off that 200 MA, folks. We've broken out, out of this channel now. So just bear that in mind. 
you've obviously closed the gap as well so previous support equals resistance now so watch out for this uh, zone here in terms of the French cap okay again if we do continue to flush low you have support at 4940 and then you have this key diagonal trend line as well coming in at 4920 and previous resistance equals support at 4910 so watch out for those zones okay 10 minute chart the French CAC at the moment from my perspective certainly seems like we want to go higher and close that gap the way we see this market's trading at the moment gap fill is at 5000 let's see how the market reacts there in terms of the uh, the actual um, FTSE 100 this certainly has been flush today much weaker than I anticipated daily chart as you can see here we've uh, hit hit the uh, diagonal trend line okay we've hit 75 percent support and bounce thus far previous resistance equals support here okay I did expect some potential support around the 7380 that failed okay then you had support around the uh, 7315 which we're at now and look, looking certainly looking for that to potentially hold and let's see how the market reacts here 60 minute chart on the FTSE itself really in no man's land at the moment although there is a key zone here okay previous resistance equals support here uh, it certainly is holding thus far let's see if we can manage a bounce here diagonal trend line certainly has not held 200 ma failed as well okay so it's all about uh, the uh, 7340 7360 you know acting as resistance so just bear that in mind if we take the fibra retracement from the high to the pivot low here again you're looking at a retracement of 538 to 50 percent on the upside for my interpretation okay yolo stocks last but not least let's just bring this up for uh certainly uh, delve into this and have a look as well a uh, daily chart at the moment has, has closed a gap has held potential support 60 minute chart again close a gap holding diagonal trend line support looking for a potential pop higher so bear that in mind 10 minute chart at the moment really it's uh it's closed a gap obviously we, we, we actually moved lower so certainly much weaker than expected held support there you have support here as well okay so let's just have a look here okay again the next level is seen at a gap fill up 3430 uh, and that's a zone to certainly observe in terms of resistance on the uh, european markets 3430 okay so i think that's a good summation really if you do wish to uh, trade please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs uh, in terms of a new broking account in give especially given the uh, potential bonus and please be sure to visit cfds.com and uh, i wish you the best for the the, uh, the remainder of the day uh, again look forward to further volatility uh, the bulls and bears are now on equal footing and uh, uh, trading certainly got more exciting goodbye now